Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the Fourier series of period 2 pi for the given function f of x, x cos x in the interval 0 less than x less than 2 pi. As a first part, we are going to write the formula for the Fourier series, which is f of x equal to a naught by 2 plus summation n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos nx plus summation n equal to 1 to infinity vn sin nx. Now to find a naught we use 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x dx and here we substitute f of x. So 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi x cos x dx. We are going to use Bernoulli's formula for integrating this. Integral uv dx is uv1 minus u dash v2 plus u double dash v3 minus dot dot dot. So here this is u and this is v. Now directly I am going to write 1 by pi u v1 is the first term u is as it is v1 is integration of cos x which is sin x minus u dash u is x its differentiation is 1 and v2 is the integration of v1 this is v1 this integration is minus cos x and we have limit from 0 to 2 pi. Third part we don't write because u double dash the derivative of 1 is 0. So we have only two terms. Now this is 1 by pi and x sin x plus cos x. We have 0 to 2 pi. Let's substitute the upper limit. When I put upper limit sin 2 pi is 0 cos 2 pi is 1. When I put 0, first term there is x, so it is 0 and cos 0 is 1. So totally this is 1 minus 1, 0. A naught is 0. Now coming to a n which is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x dx and sorry f of x into cos nx dx. So this is integral 0 to 2 pi outside we have 1 by pi f of x is x cos x into cos nx dx. Here we are going to apply a trigonometric formula which is cos nx into cos x is half adding both the angles which is n plus 1x plus taking the difference of both the angles which is n minus 1x. So a n becomes 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi x and this 1 by 2 can be taken outside open a bracket cos of n plus 1x plus cos n minus 1x dx. Here once again we are going to apply Bernoulli's formula. This is u and this entire term is v. So integral uv dx is uv1 minus u dash v2 plus u double dash v3 minus dot dot dot. So when I use a formula we have outside 1 by 2 pi bracket open u v1 is the first term u is x v1 is this integration this integration is sin n plus 1 x by n plus 1 plus again sin n minus 1x by n minus 1. 
then minus u dash this derivative is 1 and v2 v2 is the integration of v1 already v1 we have it here this integration is minus cos n plus 1 x by n plus 1 whole square then again minus cos n minus 1 x by n minus 1 whole square and we have limit 0 to 2 pi when I substitute the upper limit the first term having both are sine so it is 0 sine 2 pi of something is 0 then minus coming to the second part when I put 2 pi here and 2 pi here and already there is a minus sign outside so it will become plus cos n plus 1 2 pi by n plus 1 whole square plus cos n minus 1 2 pi by n minus 1 whole square then coming to the lower limit first term there is an x and moreover sign is there so it is 0 and second term this will become 1 because cos 0 is 1 1 by 1 plus n plus 1 whole square plus 1 by n minus 1 whole square so we apply the limit now this one always an even number because 2 times of n plus 1 even here it is a even number so it is 1 so 1 by 2 pi 1 by n plus 1 whole square plus 1 by n minus 1 whole square and this minus if I take separately minus 1 by n plus 1 whole square minus 1 by n minus 1 whole square so totally this positive term and negative term gets cancelled again positive term and negative terms gets cancelled so the value of am is completely 0 in the same way coming to bn the formula is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x into sin nx dx and this is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi x cos x into sin nx dx again applying formula for this to convert this product as some more difference bn is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi we keep this x as it is and in the formula 1 by 2 will come so we keep this 2 here and now this is sine of n plus 1 x plus sine of n minus 1 x so we have to take the sum of the angle then plus sign of difference of the angle now again this we are going to proceed with u v integral u v dx Bernoulli's formula u v1 minus u dash v2 plus u double dash v3 minus dot 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 so we are going to apply this integration we have 1 by 2 pi x into that is u is the first term we have written as it is this is entire term is v and v1 is integration of that so minus cos n plus 1 x by n plus 1 minus cos n minus 1 x by n minus 1 so we integrated this then minus u dash the derivative of x is 1 and v2 is integration of this term that gives minus sin of n plus 1 x by n plus 1 whole square again minus sin of n minus 1 x by n minus 1 whole square we have 0 to 2 pi now when I substitute the upper limit 
there is x which is 2 pi and when I put 2 pi here this entire term will become 1 but already there is a minus sign so minus 1 by n plus 1 again here this entire term is 1 so minus 1 by n minus 1 and these are sign term so it is 0 no need to substitute in open bracket when I put lower limit since there is x this will become 0 and these are sign term so everything will become 0 so we have only this so on further simplifying this anyway we can cancel these two so it is by taking LCM n plus 1 into n minus 1 you can keep the minus common so here n minus 1 will come and plus n plus 1 will come so totally after cancelling this we get minus 2 n by this is n square minus 1 and this n cannot be 1 because it will become undefined because of this reason I have to find a1 and b1 separately so a1 is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x which is x cos x into cos nx and that is cos x only dx and here this is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x is x cos x into sin nx but n is 1 so sin x dx so we got bn since this is applicable when n is not equal to 1 we have to find what is a1 and b1 separately so this is nothing but cos square x but cos square x can be written as 1 plus cos 2x by 2 this is a trigonometric formula and now this 2 can be taken outside so it is 1 by 2 pi integral 0 to 2 pi x into 1 plus cos 2x dx again we are going to use Bernoulli's formula so I am going to apply directly that is a1 plus we have 1 by 2 pi formula is u v1 v1 is this integration sin 2x by 2 but actually this integration is x so let's rewrite one integration is x plus sin 2x by 2 then minus u dash this x derivative is 1 and again this integration is x square by 2 minus cos 2x by 4 then we have a limit 0 to 2 pi because next part u double dash that is u dash will become u double dash will become 0 so no need to write that now coming to this this is 1 by 2 pi when I put 2 pi here this is 2 pi and here it is 2 pi when I put 2 pi here sign term is 0 minus 2 pi whole square by 2 cos 4 by is 1 so minus 1 by 4 when I put lower limit first term is fully 0 in second term we have minus of x square by 2 is 0 and minus 1 by 4 because cos 0 is 1 the bracket close and the full bracket close now this is 1 by 2 pi this is 4 pi square minus this is 4 pi square by 2 is 2 pi square then we have plus 1 by 4 because I have to take this minus here and when I take this minus here it is plus but again there is an outside minus so minus 1 by 4 so this gets cancelled so 2 pi square 4 pi square minus 2 pi square 2 pi square we can cancel this and we can cancel this so totally this is pi in the same way I have to find what is b1 
integral outside we have 1 by pi 0 to 2 pi f of x is x cos x into sin nx but here it is sin 1x dx now this will become 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi this is nothing but sin 2x by 2 so we can write sin 2x by 2 I will write it here again we have to follow u v integration Bernoulli's formula so 1 by 2 pi formula is u v1 v integration is minus cos 2x by 2 then minus u dash is 1 this integration is minus sin 2x by 2 and again next differentiation of 1 is 0 so no need to write we have limit from 0 to 2 pi so when I put the upper limit this is 2 pi and cos 4 pi is 1 so we have minus 1 by 2 and this term is 0 when I put lower limit everything is 0 so we can cancel this we left with minus 1 by 2 so now I am going to substitute in the Fourier formula which is a0 by 2 so the value of a0 which we got is 0 0 by 2 is 0 plus a1 I have to write separately a1 is pi so pi into cos 1x because it is a1 so it is pi cos x then plus b1 so minus 1 by 2 sin 1x which is sin x and along with that a n which is 0 so we can leave that and write the last term summation n equal to 1 to infinity but already it is not equal to 1 so it is from 2 to infinity b n the value of b n we got is minus 2 n by n square minus 1 so minus 2n by n square minus 1 into sin nx. On rewriting this, we get f of x equal to pi cos x minus half sin x. We can take the constant 2 outside. Summation n equal to 2 to infinity n by n square minus 1 into sin nx. This is the required Fourier expansion for the given function f of x.